Welcome to another video. The skill you're about to learn in this video applies to all and any four consecutive integers. Okay, so if you have any four numbers, I just picked these, these ones because um, they look very difficult to compute. But if you pick any four integers and you multiply them, four consecutive integers, and you multiply them by each other, and at the end of the day, you add one to it, whatever you get is a perfect square. So if you can do the algebra, you'll be able to get the actual value of whatever four numbers you put together. You just try it in your head with one. One times two times three times four. What would you get? One times two is two times three is six, six times four is 24. Add one to 24, you're gonna get 25. The square root of 25 is a, is five. It's an integer. You do that, do two times three times four times five, do five times six times seven times eight, you will always get a perfect square if you add one to your product. Now, so this definitely is a perfect square, but the task is not whether to show it's a perfect square or not, but to evaluate it. So that's where algebra, the king of mathematics, shows up. Let's get into the video. In a recent video, I showed you about the strategy of a palind palindromic um, equation or palindromic polynomial. Now, this is going to turn out to be a palindrome, and that's what makes it beautiful. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to take, let's say this one, because I want to be all positive in this case, no negatives at this point. Otherwise, I'll take the last one. So we're going to say that, we're going to say let x be equal to 96. Then, x plus 1 equals 97, x plus 2 equals 98, and x plus 3 equals 99. So the task that we have, this becomes the square root of x times x minus x plus 1 rather, x plus 2, x plus 3 plus 1. And there is nothing. Remember I mentioned palindrome at the end, so we're not thinking of any weird strategies. We're just going to multiply everything out. It's going to be a lot of work, but I can do 2 by 2, okay? So this is the same thing as the square root of x squared plus x multiplied by x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus 1. Okay, now we can multiply these two. This is going to be x to the fourth, and then plus 5x cubed plus 6x squared plus x cubed plus 5x squared plus 6x plus 1. Have you seen the palindrome? It's not showing up yet. We need to clean up, okay? Clean up. So we're gonna put these two together. We're gonna get 6x cubed. We're gonna put these two together. We're gonna get 11x squared. And there's a 6x and there's a 1. So what we really have is, let's call this quantity, um, what can I call this? Let's call this r for root. Okay, so we're gonna say that r is equal to the square root plus 1. Do you see the palindrome now? The coefficients of this polynomial are 1, 6, 11, 6, 1. See? 1, 6, 11, 6, 1. It's something that rises and comes back down like that. That looks weird. I try to draw emojis. I don't know how to do them. What can we do here? Well, we only need to show that this is a perfect square. Because if what is under here is a perfect square, we can 
easily find what it is. So we're gonna ignore the square root sign now, okay, or we can just say r squared. Let's square both sides. r squared is now equal to x to the fourth plus 6x cubed plus 11x squared plus 6x plus 1. So what would I do? Because I know this is a palindrome, okay, using the palindromic property. I'm going to look at the term in the middle halfway and say I'm going to divide by x squared. So I've divided everything that I see in this equation by x squared. So right here I have r squared over x squared will be equal to here. This divided by x squared is now x squared. This divided by x squared is now 6x. This divided by x squared is 11. This divided by x squared is 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. And this divided by x squared is 1 over x squared. Nice. But we know something. We know that this is equal to x squared. Go get the one that has x squared. This one plus 1 over x squared plus 6x plus 6 over x plus 11. So this is what we have. And we can actually factor out this 6. Okay, let me just do that. Factor out the 6. This would be 1 like that. Okay. Now remember, you have to do a substitution. We're trying to substitute and replace this. So let's just look for something to replace this. Remember the goal. The goal is to show that this is a perfect square or this is a perfect square. Okay, we're still working on it. Remember, we've already moved x squared this way. Don't worry. This is a, this is a square, so we don't need to worry about it. Now, what do we do? Let, let's do a substitution. Let t be equal to x plus 1 over x. By this substitution, we want to know what x squared plus 1 over x squared will be, because we need to replace this too. If we square both sides, see what happens? We know that t squared is going to be, when you square this, you're going to have x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared, which means that t squared minus 2 equals x squared plus 1 over x squared. So this is actually this. So I can replace this with t squared minus 2, and I can replace this with t. This squaring, just foil it, you're going to end up with this answer, okay? Now what do we have? I have r squared over x squared equals t squared minus 2, where is it? Here, t squared minus 2 plus 6t plus 11. Do you think this is a perfect square? <laughs> yes, I know. So we have r squared over x squared is equal to, this is going to be t squared plus 6t plus 9, which is the same thing as t plus 3 squared. That's r squared over x squared. Here we're going to have, if you multiply, you're going to have r squared is equal to x squared times t plus 3 squared, which means r is the square root of this. Now, we're not going to do plus or minus because r is expected to be positive. It is the square root of a number. Okay, so what we have is or a real number. So what we're going to have will be r is, a, is x times t plus 3, which means it is equal to x times, what is t again? x plus 1 over x. x plus 1 over x plus 3. Well, that nicely resolves into x squared plus 1 plus 3x. So this is x squared plus 1 plus 3x. 
that's r and now you can just do your basic multiplication since x is equal to 96 so it's gonna be 96 squared plus 1 plus 3 times 96 never stop learning those who stop learning stop living bye bye